today we're going to talk about image slicing. And for this um, exercise, we will be using the files that are located on the website. So I'm going to scroll down. And the files that you'll need for this exercise um, are in the section called image slicing. So I'm going to scroll down to that. And I am going to um, download this file that is called image slicing.zip. So I'm going to click on that and save that. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay. So now that image slicing zip is on my desktop. I'm going to double click on it and we're going to take a look to see what we have here. And this is a Photoshop file. So I'm going to open up this. Um, image slicing file in Photoshop. And um, as you have learned um, in the design process, you will be designing all of your websites using Photoshop. So let's take a look at this Photoshop document. I'm going to open up the windows to look at the layers here. And we'll make this a little bit larger so we can see it. And there are some important things to note um, about this Photoshop file. And the, probably the most important thing to note is that all of the different um, elements, graphical elements in this file are on separate layers. So if we look at this Photoshop file, and I'm going to just um, hide all of these layers temporarily, we'll see that um, as I um, reveal these layers, you'll see that everything is on its own separate layer. So the text, the images, the logo, the navigation, that's really important and you're going to see why it's important when we talk further about um, image slicing. So when you design your um, site in Photoshop, be sure that you are adding your elements onto separate layers. So why, why is image slicing important and what are you doing with image slicing? With image slicing, what you're doing is you are creating all of your, um, you could call them assets for your website. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating either JPEG or GIF files for all of this imagery on this web page. So for the navigation that's up on, on top, for this main photo that's in the center, um, there's also some sub nav here in the lower left hand corner, there's a quote in the lower right corner. We're going to be basically slicing all of these images and um, the beauty of image slicing in Photoshop is that you can slice all of these images at the same time, optimize them at different settings because as we know the um, graphical elements like the navigation and the logo are going to be um, saved out as GIFs but the center image will need to be saved out as a JPEG. So we can save all of this out at the same time using Photoshop. So that's really the beauty of it. Um, so let's take a look at how we would get started here. So the tool that we're going to be using here is located on the toolbar. Um, it is called the Slice Tool. And notice when I click down on the Slice Tool, there's actually two different tools. There's the Slice Tool and the Slice Select Tool. Um, the Slice Select Tool um, obviously is what you use when you want to select the slice, but we're going to be using just the Slice Tool right now to start slicing this page. All right, so the very first slice I'm going to make is I'm going to start with this logo. So you can see I'm just simply dragging my slice tool, which looks sort of like a little knife, um, around my logo. So I have now created a slice um, and we will be able to save out this slice as a GIF um, that we will eventually use to build the page. So basically that's all slicing is, is um, cutting this page up. Um, a couple things to note is um, down here um, where I'm indicating um, with the cursor where it says current project. This is going to be 
um, HTML text. So this isn't going to be image. So we don't need to cut out that part of the page. Um, and I'll show you later when I build the page um, exactly you know, how we would do that. But pretty much the, everything else on this page does need to be um, sliced. So now I'm going to just simply slice this um, image called portfolio which is to indicate the page that you're on. I'm going to actually slice this whole navigational bar right here, starting from the company profile services and contact and info as one image. This is going to be um, created uh, in the page as an image map, and I'll show you in a few minutes you know, how we'll do that. So that's just going to be one image. Now, if I make um, some sort of error or mistake, it's really easy to simply just delete my slice. And all I did there was hit the, the delete key. So, um, you know, if you make any kind of um, error in your slicing, it's very easy to delete it and start over. Okay. And I have um, my magnification on 100%. You may want to increase it so that you can see your um, image easier. You know, you want to be as clean as possible when um, you're making these slices. Okay, another thing you can do, which I oftentimes do, is by using your ruler, I'm just gonna slip my ruler down here. Um, sometimes that's easier to, again, create, um, oh, I made a little mistake there, so let me undo. Using your ruler can help you create sort of a, oh, did it again, a little line here which should make it easier to slice. Okay, there we go. And then finally, I'm gonna slice this quote right here because that is gonna be an image. All right, so the only thing that I haven't sliced on this page is this um, bar on the, on the right-hand side because that actually is going to just be a table cell with a color in it, so there's no need for me to make that an image. And then this center text I also have not sliced because that is going to be um, a HTML text, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay, so the first step is to slice your objects. 